Hi, I'm Iwata Husby, and I love drawing in my comic diary. It has a special place in my heart. I've been doing this nonstop since 2020. I have three of these notebooks filled in. I have a feeling that I'm going to keep going strong for many years to come. <laughs> but today I did an entry about self-care for my body, mind, and soul. So there's six ways for um, self-care. Physical, emotional, spiritual, intellectual, social, and sensory. And on the emotional side, this is my comic diary, journaling. And for spiritual, I create vision boards. I love doing boards with my comic diary, something that I can go back and look at. And also another page I did today, I was on a roll, you guys. <laughs> this is confirmation that my Brooklyn Art Library sketchbook did get lost in that fire. So that was kind of bittersweet. I also like to do fun things as well. Like my friend, um, she gave me a tarot reading. So I thought it was fun to do an entry on that. And then also, it snowed in um, April. So I documented that. Uh, it's very important to timestamp whenever you do a comic diary. That way when you go to look back of everything that you've drawn, you can remember the time, the day, how you were feeling, what was going on. But like I've said, I've been going strong since 2020. And this, oh, this was my very first post, January 1st, 2020. And I learned a lot with Comic Diaries is very important to experiment. If you mess up, just keep going. It's a comic diary, it's for you. Don't worry about it, just keep going. Because with this, I try to get all fancy with the pen, not the way to go. So I learn for the next time, just, just don't try to be fancy with it, just draw. Yeah, and that was the first time that uh, COVID came into my area. It's the picture of the newspaper. The first case of coronavirus in the Eastern Panhandle, March 18th, 2020. And I believe that they were in Shepherdstown, if I'm not mistaken. It was a man and a wife. So yeah, even with Comic Diaries, I don't know if I can find that again. It doesn't have to necessarily be something you draw. It's something that you can just clip in there as well. I love getting my hair cut. I keep going back and forth between keeping my hair and shaving it all off. That was the loss of my grandfather back in uh, July. That was me and my cousin's reaction at the wake. Since it was COVID, we weren't allowed to have a funeral. That's seeing a double rainbow. Like I document everything, you guys. And um, if you wanna get started, you don't have to draw every day. You can just draw whenever something you want to um, focus on. And this is the second one. The one I showed you before, the very first one. That's the last one I've drawn in. That's my latest. Me killing my poor plant. Oh, he did die. I'm so, so sorry, Zeke. <laughs> this is Martin Luther King. His famous quotes. This is the first time that uh, Jefferson County has ever been three degrees in the single digits. What's going on? That was back in uh, January, 2022. It's 
don't seem like we're up in Maine or Canada. If that's the case, I might as well just move to Canada. <laughs> so, that's me saying I'm fine, I'm fine. Trying to convince myself that I'm fine, even though I wasn't that day. So if you ever wanna get started and you don't know if you wanna to commit to like doing it full time like I do, just get some scrap paper or any kind of paper and just draw and write whatever you're feeling. And then um, just keep it collected and if you finally do feel like you want to give it a go for a long-term commitment, then I would invest in a sketchbook so it's all in one spot for you. And mine is small, or medium size, I guess, so it can fit in my purse and I can take it wherever I go. But a lot of people I know, either they do theirs digitally or they have a bigger notebook. But I do like the small one because um, it's less pressure. I don't feel like I have to be perfect when I do it. And it forces me to um, draw and write small. So I just pick like the essential moments that I need to document my day. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have a comic diary club. It's every Tuesday from eight to nine Eastern Standard Time if you guys ever wanna join me. It's very unofficial, we just draw. And if you don't wanna draw during that hour, you can just outline what you would like to um, do. Cause I'm a firm believer in before starting your pages, like to do thumbnails or to do like a little script to make sure that you know what you would like to um, actually have for the final page. I do that, Comic Diary Club, and I also have a Draw With Yuwada Patreon if anyone ever wants to join that as well. That's um, just looking at my Comic Diary that I do then I also give tips and inspirational quotes. Then I also have a tier where we can meet um, monthly to just talk about diary, comic diaries or to draw in them. So if any of that interests you, if you love to write in a diary and you want to find a more creative way to express your feelings, or if you're a beginning artist and you want to learn something, um, how to be creative, just hit me up. Yawada, I'm very friendly. I'm very down to earth. And I'm, I think I'm cool. But that could be because I'm a Leo. So I won't say anything bad about myself. <laughs> In my comic diaries, you'll see that I boast a lot. Well, it's not boasting, it's just I've gained self-confidence, I guess, since drawing in these. But if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.